Hi, I'm Charlie, and this is my school, the Academy of Holy Angels, in Richfield, Minnesota. In 2007, my class was the first class to become a part of Project Laptop, a one-to-one -one student computer program. Today, every student at Holy Angels uses his or her own laptop in a program that incorporates online learning throughout the curriculum and the school. As you can see, these laptops are a very important part of life here at Holy Angels. Even outside of the classroom, these students are developing the skills they have learned in Project Laptop, skills that will prepare us to be vital, contributing members of society in the future. Studies show that kids who grow up using computer technology will have advantages later in business, engineering, and technological fields. Also, writing among students is on the rise and flourishing since they became regular computer users. In 1998, the Academy of Holy Angels won the National Blue Ribbon Schools Award. As a result, we were invited to visit a school with laptops. And what we decided was our program would not be based just on technology, but on the best ways to use technology to improve student achievement. In 2007, my ninth grade class started using our laptops in the core classes of theology, social studies, and English. Today, well, you'll find every student using a laptop, and every teacher incorporating fun and new, exciting learning activities online throughout the school, from theology to physical education. Senora Orsi uses laptops every day in her Spanish 1 and 2 classes. Today, Mr. Rainville's class is using the technology to help better understand their vocabulary terms. While they explore the web, their teacher is able to monitor their actions using Synchronize. During school hours, all, all teachers, all staff have this program on their computers so we're able to see what they are doing and what they are not doing. We have uh, prevention of blocking certain sites so sites are not available to them unless we deem them uh, acceptable for them and, and a good use for their education. Right now, Ms. Anderson and her students are using laptops creating a video based on a scene in A Tale of Two Cities. In theology, Ms. Vanyo's students are using a wiki page to share information with the rest of the class. The wiki is a way for students to collaborate with each other, see what others have researched, and a place to ask questions of their peers and teacher. Wiki literally means fast, is what it means. And it is a way for them to share information with others, to edit each other's information, and to add to it. So it's like the Wikipedia of the internet. These students in Miss Amigon's class are accessing all of their schoolwork using Moodle, the school's learning management system. On the class webpage, they find links to notes, online quizzes, discussion boards, videos, an online class glossary, and other collaboration tools. Mrs. Reefus's anatomy and physiology class is investigating the relationship between cat and human muscle structure and function. The smart board allows students to be hands-on and interact with each other in the learning process. I think that having a laptop and the opportunity to use technology in the classroom makes me a better student and prepares me for college and my career. Across the board, our students have the things that the colleges have asked for. If they've not met the requirements, I think they're actually exceeding them in many areas uh, based on the kinds, of pro the kinds of things that I see our students doing every day with their um, laptops, with their programs here at Holy Angels and their papers and presentations. Holy Angels has set up a special program to teach students about finding and using resources on the web. Media director Sheila Brennan heads this effort. Two years before the laptop program was launched, um, the library media department designed a unique program for information literacy. The goal being to, to instruct all our students, 9 through 12, to be better users of information. With my laptop, I can access homework, documents, websites, software and other tools I need for my classes. Having a laptop makes me more responsible for my own learning and encourages me to think critically. We're taught how to research differently through online databases and organize our information on new um, documents like OneNote. Group work is also easy because I can work with my classmates from anywhere. We can work on the same project at different places 
and at a time that fits into our schedules. These class projects can also be more collaborative and the teacher can see who's contributing to the final outcome. What we've learned is that students are not only uh, learning to be part of the 21st century, they are the 21st century. They're doing uh, work in class that is much beyond the knowledge base. They're learning to collaborate and communicate. They have critical thinking skills and they're part of this creative society of students that's able to communicate um, well beyond what we ever imagined. I think the real advantage for me is the opportunity I have to experience all of the ways that people communicate in the virtual world. Blogging, podcasting, movie making, web page design, photo sharing, well, they're all possible with my laptop. Teachers put a lot of work into ensuring that Project Laptop is an excellent learning resource for their students. They continually attend training, they mentor one another, they regularly work together in professional learning communities to find new digital tools, assess their teaching, evaluate student performance, and ensure that Project Laptop is providing AHA students with 21st century learning skills. They're really helpful for collaboration, getting good ideas from each other, and um, staying ahead of the kids. <laughs> Students are learning about and using technology in many ways. They are learning programming, web design, and AutoCAD skills. One of the neat things about computers that some people don't realize is that they help develop creativity. I'd like you to meet Emily Keenan. In 2007, Emily won a Scholastic Art Competition Silver Key Award for her digital art. This award included a major scholarship, and today she is a student at the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. Project Laptop continues to transform Holy Angels. A study that began with my class four years ago proves that we are better organized, more motivated, and have increased our mastery of 21st century skills, such as creative thinking, problem solving, and collaboration. I can't imagine doing my schoolwork without a laptop. It's just so integrated in everything I do at Holy Angels. With technology at our fingertips, we are no longer bound by the physical limitations of the classroom. We have been given the tools to seek information beyond these walls and into the virtual world. Our teachers encourage us to see, experience, talk, blog, listen, and discern the ways of this country and the world as they relate to our studies. Learning is not meant to be static. It is meant to evolve, and Project Laptop is doing just that. It is revolutionizing the ways in which we learn to create better equipped and world ready students who are more in touch and more prepared for the future beyond the halls of Holy Angels. <laughs>